हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन द सेल्स फोर्स एडमिन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज हियर आई एम पोस्टिंग अनदर सेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आर रिलेटेड टू फ्लोज सो लेट्स गो एंड गेट स्टार्टेड सो व्हाट आर फ्लोज इन सेल्स फोर्स एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर ऑटोमेशन टूल्स फ्लोज आर पॉइंट एंड क्लिक टूल अवेलेबल इन सेल्स फोर्स टू ऑटोमेट बिजनेस प्रोसेसेज फ्लोज आर क्लोज टू एपेक्स ट्रिगर्स through flows we can query database to results in variables and collection variables we can use loops to iterate database results manipulate the data using assignment elements perform dml operations like create update and delete other tools like workflows and process builder which were having some limitations have been obsolete in salesforce uh, so whatever companies have built the automation through workflows and process builder now they are migrating uh, the automation work to flows what is picklist choice set in flows we use picklist choice set in flows to use the existing picklist fields that are available in uh, that are available in database and display the existing values in the user end. what is record choice set in flows we use record choice set in flows to use the existing lookup fields and display the existing value in the user interface for example account name fields how can we control the order of sequence in flows we can control the order of sequence in flows by mentioning the order in trigger order which is available in advanced settings on flow builder so this uh, uh, this is the feature they have introduced in recent releases now we can uh, order uh, our sequence in flows is it possible to control with sharing and without sharing in flows yes we can control with sharing and without sharing in flows what types of flows are available when you create a new flow screen flow record triggered flow scheduled triggered flow platform event triggered flow auto launch flows and record triggered orchestration what are the dml operation we can perform in flows create update and delete so we cannot perform undelete operation in uh flows is it possible to invoke apex classes through flows yes we can invoke apex classes through flows which one would you prefer between apex trigger and flow as a best approach try to implement business requirement through flows first if it is more complex and not able to achieve uh, through flows uh, then go with the triggers what are the platform event messages platform event messages in salesforce provide a powerful mechanism for building event driven integration and automation solution that connect salesforce with other system and services they enable developers to create flexible scalable and near real time communication channel within the salesforce ecosystem and beyond give me some example when you implemented flows in your project i have implemented flows in many ways for example field updates email notification creating and updating related records after certain operations give me some example where you have used loops in flows uh, i have used loops in performing certain operations like showing minimum maximum sum average of related records on the master object or whenever the logic needs to be performed on the collection variables what is record triggered orchestration record trigger orchestration refers to the process of coordinating and executing multiple actions or processes in response to changes in records within a system what are auto launch flows Auto launch flow in Salesforce is a type of flow that is designed to automate business processes without requiring user interaction. Unlike screen flows, which are used to guide users through series of screen to collect data and perform actions, auto launch flows are executed automatically in response to certain events or triggers. What are the types of flow in auto launch flow? So we have uh, five. <clears throat> auto launch flows in uh, flows record trigger flow uh, schedule trigger flow platform event trigger flow that launches when a platform event message is triggered auto launch flow launches when invoked by apex processes rest api or other flows record trigger orchestration 
launches when record is created or updated and so through orchestration basically uh, we we can create multi step and multi user processes so what are the data options you see when you choose fast field update option so um, when we choose fast field update option when we are you know defining the start of our flow we choose this option so uh, basically we'll have pure option when we'll choose fast field update option in the data uh, uh, so the in the data section element you will see only update record and get record and uh, what are the data options you see when you choose actions and deleted record options so when we uh, you know select this option action and deleted records we see more option read record update record get record delete record is it possible to delete active flow it is not possible to delete active flow in order to delete a flow uh, we need to deactivate a flow then it can be deleted what are subflows and why we create them so <clears throat> subflows are nothing uh, you know uh, it it is a, it is basically flow only uh, and we use subflows if we are doing repeated repetitive actions in flow that can be replaced by subflow so so in order to segregate the logic or repetitive logic that we are doing in a flow uh, to make our flow uh, you know uh, look simple and uh, easy to read so basically uh, that is a purpose when we use subflows so for example suppose if we are sending follow up emails continuously for 3 days so that logic can be created in some flow and can be um, and we can call the same subflow three times otherwise uh, you know uh, we we have to build the same uh, logic and put in the flows if we are not building through subflow what are schedule triggered flows schedule triggered flows in salesforce are a type of flow that can be scheduled to run at specific times or intervals these flows are designed to automate repetitive tasks or processes that need to occur on a regular basis without manual intervention so i'll conclude my video here so if i'll see uh, any more scenarios related to flows and uh, any more questions that will come up I will try to add those questions in my upcoming videos that I'll post in this series. So please let me know if you have any question or any feedback. I will happy to answer your question. Thank you.